10 things you should know before you invest in the stock market. Hi everyone, my name is James Gardino. I've been investing for years. I'm just going to give you a few minor tips. Number one, stock brokers and money managers are not your friends. When it comes to investing, they do not have your best interest in mind. No one cares more about your money than you. No matter what they say, no matter how they smile at you, no matter how nice you look dressed, how wonderful an office there is, how they wind you and dine you, they do not have your best interest in mind. Nobody does but you. Well, maybe your ex. Anyway, number two. What you hear on TV is not always true when it comes to investing. Stocks react to news on TV and the newspaper. It doesn't mean that the company is going to crumble and go bankrupt. It just means they're in the news and the people on the news are talking about them. It doesn't always mean that the bottom line is going to be you're not going to get your money back or they're bankrupt, they're taking all your money. It doesn't mean that at all. Don't overreact to news that you hear on TV and, or you read in the newspaper. Most of the time, it's much to do with the actual value of the company. Number three. Stock price is only the public's perception of the value of the company. Just because the stock price is high or low does not reflect the actual real value of the company. Now, if the company is strong, it will show strong earnings and strong cash flow and a high quality of consistency in the earnings, the dividends, and so on and so forth. Earnings, dividend payments have a better indication of the actual value of the company. Number four, anyone can invest in the stock market. If you have an internet connection, you can trade anywhere. If you're over the age of 18, you can legally buy and sell stocks. If you're not over 18, then you can get an adult to open an account for you in your behalf and let you trade with them. <coughs> Number five, investing is easy. Now, this is not rocket scientists, so don't confuse yourself with any fancy trading strategies. <clears throat> I like the way I spelled fancy. That's funny. Anyway, so much for my proofreader over here. So, <laughs> fancy trading strategies can nothing but confuse you. It is simple to buy and sell a company stock. You go online, a broker can walk you through any transactions you want to make. But make sure you double check and know what you're doing. You're buying one company at one price, and then you're going to sell it at another price. It's pretty plain and simple. Number six, the information that you need in order to make a good education idea on what you want to buy is free online. You just have to look for it or know where to look for it. Uh, whatever information you need to make a buying decision, you can easily find online and help you navigate through all that kind of stuff. The hardest part is knowing what to look for and why you're buying in the first place. If you have no idea why you're buying a stock, then don't buy it. You should have a clear reason on what you want to buy and when you want to buy it. Now, rule number seven. It doesn't matter what direction the stock price is going, up, down, or sideways. There is a trading strategy for every direction you can possibly imagine. If the stock is going nowhere, there's a trading strategy for that. If the stock is going up, there's a trading strategy for that also. If the stock is going down, there's a bunch of trading strategies for that. You just have to have fixed in your head what it is you want to do and then execute the proper trading strategy in order to get what it is you want. Now, money can be made regardless of whatever direction the stock is going. Number eight. Like I said before, you can trade anywhere in the world as long as you have access to the internet. Number nine, there is more than one stock market. Don't kid yourself thinking if you're in the United States that we're the greatest. No, we came late to the party. The first stock market was made in 1602. And uh, I believe it was in Amsterdam. They opened the doors in 1607. They actually built the building in 1607. But the stock market has been around since 1602 when they started selling the first stock. Nope, there you go. Hundreds of stock markets. Amsterdam is the oldest, built in 1607. 
Philadelphia is the oldest stock market in the United States. However, the New York Stock Exchange is the biggest. Number 10. When you're working in the stock market, you can grow your money really fast depending on the strategies in which you use. The magic of compound interest, you can grow your money at an alarming rate as long as you're careful, you know what you're doing, and you don't make any silly decisions. Anyway, this is James <coughs> letting you know my 10 ideas of what you should know before you get into the stock market. Have yourself a wonderful day.